Let's get started with Desmos. Over here on the left hand side, we've got our math editor. So I can type in anything math over here. I can do an equation like y equals x plus 2. I can also type in some kind of a calculation. So I can do 3 plus 7 and I've got that calculation. Over here on the right hand side, I've got my graphing area. If you want to make some adjustments to that, there's a couple different ways that you can do that. You can click on the wrench, which will give you your graph settings, several different options here, including changing the range and domain for the X and the Y axes. You can also change the step, which will change those grid lines for you. And then I've got my zoom buttons. I can zoom in and I can zoom out. Now I can also do this with my mouse. I've got a roller on my mouse, so I can go ahead and roll that mouse. If you don't have a roller on your mouse, but you've got a touchpad or a touch screen, you can pinch with two fingers and then open and close to zoom in and zoom out. Now I wanna do a few more things with this graph. To get rid of the three plus seven or anything that you've typed in, you can just click on the X over here. Let's go ahead and work with this graph. I'm gonna click on the gear so I can change some of the features, including the color of that line. Now that I've got this closed circle, I can click on it and I can change it to any color that I want. I can change it from a solid line to a dashed line, and I can change the thickness of that line. Let's put it back here. I can also, so let me just click off of that and go back into settings. I can also click on create table. This is a really nice way to show some of the X and Y pairs that go along with our line. You'll notice that Desmos has also marked those with dots on the line. I can click on those and it reveals the coordinates for each of those points. Continuing, I can hide the line completely by just clicking on the circle. Notice that I'm no longer in the gear settings or the edit list mode. If I just click on this, it disappears and I can click on the circle next to those X plus twos and those disappear as well. I wanna put my graph back up here and let's go ahead and type in another graph. I'm gonna type in Y equals, I want X squared, I have my keypad showing. If your keypad is not showing and instead you've got this little keypad icon, you can click on the up arrow and expose it. There is an A squared here that I can use. I tend to though instead, I'm just going to arrow back by hitting delete. I instead use my caret key, which is above the number six. So I'm going to go shift six to get that caret key or exponent and then type in two. Now Desmos has labeled a couple of additional points for us and those points are the intersection points. This is such a great way to discuss intersection points. So you'll see that it's labeled in gray, negative one one, which is an intersection point. And another one in gray here is this two four. Let me go ahead and click on those again so they disappear. Uh, let's click off of these. I'm going to go ahead and just click the X because I want to show you a few more features when you're computing some math. Say that you want to do a square root. Now you'll notice that my keypad automatically opened. If yours didn't, you can go down and click that up arrow. You've got lots and lots of different math tools here. If I click my square root, I can type in 36 and I get that answer of 6. Instead of typing the square root though, you're gonna learn some of these quick keys by typing in some of the abbreviations. So I can do SQRT and then it gives me that symbol and I can type in 36 to get the six. Similarly with my fractions, to come up with a fraction, I'm gonna use my forward slash. So if I wanted to do something like 12 and then forward slash, it automatically gives me that fraction over 54, it returns that decimal point 22222. But I also get this brand new symbol over here in the bar next to 1254 fourths. And this is my convert to fraction symbol. So I can click on that, and because it's a rational number, it gives me my reduced fraction of 2 ninths. 
Another way that you can do fractions is to type in that forward slash from the start. So I'm gonna do my forward slash and then it gives me a fraction to start off with. And I can do three plus, let's do SQRT for square root of nine. And then let's divide that all by a two and it gives me the answer three. Now Desmos does so much more than what I've shown you, but you've got a really great start. Take a look at my video here to learn more and thanks for watching.